Guys, good afternoon. Um, there's so much noise in the background. Please forgive me. I just wanted to come on, chat a little bit with you guys, see how everything has been going. Um, I know I haven't been on for some time, especially on YouTube. And I would lie, I get messages from you all every day asking me, you quit on YouTube, what's going on? I'm not seeing you. Um, it's just that so much has been going on and you know it's with this whole pandemic it's just about adjusting so i guess this is the new normal and you know it's it's an adjustment for everyone and apart from that um there's been other things going on too i've been doing um promotions i don't know if you all probably saw and i've also been trying to get out a new product on nature's beauty and um, also dealing with a lot of stuff too so it's just today I felt a bit down and hmm, I'm a very emotional person so I just wanted to come on and address certain things there's so many people who message me on social media Facebook Instagram sometimes even my emails and um, you know especially girls like especially young girls and they always like you know you're such a role model you're so you're so inspirational you're such a, a nice you seem like such a nice person and i mean it's all well and fine i am so open to the compliment sometimes you guys really make my day but then there are the few messages that i get where young girls are like you know, I wish I can be like you, and you seem to me like you have it made, and you seem like you're the happiest person, and they just love my vibe, and all well and fine, I'm so happy that that is what you all, you know, get from me, but I am just here to tell you that everything you see is not always what is. Sometimes behind the scenes, there's so many things going on that is not highlighted, and you know, we tend to always put out the best. I just think, I just think that it's not fair for um, you guys and even myself to be looking on at social media and judging ourselves and feeling inferior, feeling like we are doing something wrong, you know why does she look like or why do they look like they have it made and some you know I, I don't feel the same way like what am i doing wrong you know what is wrong with me and i guess that's just that's just the way social media is you know we put our best front we put our best everything to the front and Obviously, if I am in a bad mood, I am not going to highlight that. I would highlight stuff that makes me happy. You know, when I'm at my best, I would be filming, I would be vlogging, I would be showing you guys, hey, we doing this, the family lives, and, you know. But that's not always how it is, you know. And sometimes when these people message me and ask me for advice, you know, sometimes they even ask me for relationship advice, and... I feel like such a hypocrite because I I want to be completely honest. My life is not exactly what it seems on social media. I would say this and I might get emotional and this is not what I wanted. Sometimes. You know, we don't, we are not happy with, well me, I'm, I'm gonna speak for me. I feel as though, Jesus, stop. I feel as though I am not exactly where I want to be in life. I, <laughs> I am 34. 
everybody compliments me and say that you know you look so good for your age what is the secret regardless of how young I look I am still 34 and at this point in time I just felt like I wanted a bit more I felt as though I am nowhere close to where I wanted to be I know um, this is not this is not the figure you all expected but I just feel as though I owe it to you all I owe it to you all to be honest I want to be completely transparent I believe in being authentic I believe in being real and Getting messages like these from people makes me realize that there are so many of you are looking on and comparing sometimes based on the messages that I get I can safely say you all are comparing because of what you see me putting out and that is wrong that is wrong do not compare yourself to me do not compare yourself to anybody I am not where I want to be in life, just like many of you all, and sometimes I guess we just have to accept that. I am learning to accept that. It's hard, but it is what it is, and that's life. So many people look at Dave and I, and they say, you all look like you have the best relationship. I am not going to bash anybody, but what you see is not always what is real, okay? Like I say, every time you see somebody on social media flaunting us because that person is feeling themselves, that person is in a good mood. Oh, they're really, really good at hiding it, too. I'm not good at doing that. So, for the longest time, I wanted to come on and just tell you guys, tell you girls, tell everybody who messaged me, stop comparing yourselves. Stop it. It's not nice. You will always find faults within yourself if you compare yourself to somebody else. I am 100% guilty of doing that and I have tried my best. I'm working on that. I'm getting there. I'm almost there actually. I used to compare myself to people a lot and always wonder why, you know, how come? How come they seem like they're okay and what's wrong with me? But everything you see is not always what is real. And to everybody who message me and tell me that, you know, you seem like such a very nice person, you have a nice vibe, you, you are a good role model, I appreciate those comments. Sometimes you all make my day and you all wouldn't even know and then there are the few who I message, I respond to and I said you made my day and there's no lies, the truth, you know. It doesn't hurt to be kind to somebody. It doesn't hurt to say something nice. Sometimes in relationships where, you know, you would think, I know plenty of people who can't stand their spouse, but they're always posting my love, my honey, my king, my queen, my everything. So fake though. Why? Why do that? Why do that? And then you would have a couple who is probably being real and not seeing eye to eye at that same point in time and they would be scrolling on social media and see these posts and question themselves. Maybe I am with the wrong person. Maybe something is wrong with me. Maybe my relationship needs help. No, everybody's relationship 
is different. Everybody's relationship goes through a trial period. It's all about understanding. It's all about compatibility. I believe when people ask me what is my number one thing for a long lasting relationship, I will always say compatibility. Compatibility is the key to any long lasting relationship. And I can safely say that. Once you and your partner has a strong understanding, you have respect, and you all are very compatible. You're good to go. So I just wanted to come on and just share that with you guys. Like I said, I want to be completely honest. I appreciate the messages. But I also don't appreciate you guys comparing yourselves to me, thinking that I have it made, I don't. And now that I made that clear, I hope that you all can go back to feeling much better about yourselves because you are great, just like everybody else. We're just all different. And yes, with that being said, I... I guess I will see you guys in my next video. I'm joking though, but I will try my best. I will try my best to put myself together. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I hope I made a lot of things clearer for certain people. And I just wanted to let you know that I do love and appreciate the messages that I get from you guys on a daily basis. I see them. And I try my best to respond to all. Sometimes, you know, messages just get mixed up with messages. So, guys, I I hope you all don't see me in any different way. And you know, I hope you guys stay good and stay safe. And I will talk to you soon. Okay.